Law enforcement officers invading one Metro East town tonight. This is all part of a massive crackdown on what police say has become a safe haven for criminals. Good evening, I'm Steve Savard. And I am Sharon Reed. A News 4 exclusive tonight as police raid a Metro East area where they say crime is running rampant. Our Lauren Traeger tracking the police effort this evening. And Lauren, they say this raid will not only clean up that community, but others surrounding it? That's absolutely right, and that's why they decided to take some pretty drastic action. Now, it may not look like it. It's kind of quiet out here right now, but we've got law enforcement agents from multiple agencies inside of this business right here. It's a strip club called the Pink Slip. They're also inside other area businesses. They're kind of targeting several in this community. Another business right there called Bottoms Up. Now, what they're looking for, of course, is, you know, your drug dealers, your illegal gun toters and prostitutes, but they also are doing liquor license and health code checks really any violation that they can possibly find. Now, they say they're doing all of this because it can clean up crime in other areas and because the good people in this community, well, they ask them to do this. This is my hometown, and I love this place. George McShann stands at the very spot where escaping slaves once took refuge on the Underground Railroad. Now it's reduced to a pile of refuse. It's wrong. It's wrong. This is a place that should be on a national registry of historic places, but instead it's, it's being used as a, as a trash heap. St. Clair County State's Attorney Brendan Kelly says the garbage, a sign of other, seedier crimes. That's why several agencies launched a full scale attack on crime in this town. First, a raid at the SNL Rub Massage Parlor, serving a dozen warrants for drugs, prostitution, and money laundering. Then, officers took to the streets, handing out citations for things like dumping and improperly parked cars. This sounds to me, though, like an, an aggressive approach. Would you call it that? Absolutely. And, and the, but the people here have asked for help. And so we're going to get we're going to give them that help. Kelly says they have to go after areas that are magnets for violent criminals. If you allow places to become a, a cancer cell of crime, they metastasize and they go elsewhere. His hope to make this and surrounding areas safer. McShan says he's behind whatever has to be done to clean up his hometown. I'm not going to give up, you know, uh, on it. Now, these officers that are here, they're going to be here throughout the night. In fact, they're going to be setting up some DWI compliance checks as well. So add that to the list of crimes that they're targeting. I'm told just very recently that they issued 20 citations for dumping today and do expect more arrests and felony arrests to come from this big raid today. Now, Kelly admits there's, there's no silver bullet. There's no overall fix for these kinds of uh, crime problems that they're seeing out here. But he says a full scale like this, a multi-crime approach, if it works here in Brooklyn, well, he's going to try it in other towns as well. Reporting live in Brooklyn. Lauren Traeger, News 4.